right, six minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. This is the time of year, Robin, where you and I, uh, in addition to our, our radio responsibilities, we do music. We, we take our, our musical instruments and we go to different facilities. Some of them, most of them are healthcare facilities. Today we've got a healthcare mm-hmm. facility and, uh, and a hotel. Yes. Hey, good morning out there. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so uh, one of the things about doing that, you shake hands, right? You touch mm-hmm. railings, right? Yep. You meet people. And you're always told you have to be careful not to get a, a germ into your nose, your eyes, because you could catch something, right? Exactly. And on the other side of that, you could be bringing something into these facilities where the people are already kind of uh, fragile, I guess you might yeah. say, right? So it is a real, I mean, it's a serious issue. Um, And you hear about the vaccines and you know they're out there. So let's learn about them a little bit. Dr. Leonard Friedland is on the phone. He's an expert on infectious diseases and immunizations. He's a licensed pediatrician Mm -hmm. and the vice president and director of scientific affairs and public health of vaccines, North America and GlaxoSmithKline. He's talking to us about two, I believe, the influenza vaccine and the pertussis whooping cough vaccine i believe i think those are the two uh good morning dr friedland hi good morning where are you where are you calling from calling from philadelphia all right it's cold up there right now right (laughs) yeah it's it's a little cold it's probably warmer where you are i'm just trying to rub it in no (laughs) no we've had a mild um uh, season this year all across the united states and so influenza, it's, it's a little uh, delayed in when it's coming uh, throughout the United States this year, but we know it's coming. And so it's not too late to get vaccinated if you haven't already because influenza is starting to, to come up and we know it's gonna be in full force in the January, February timeframe. And so uh, it's not too late to get vaccinated for flu if you haven't already. When we hear about the vaccine, we're always told that it's a certain strain that we're getting vaccinated for. And I always take that to mean I could still get it, but it wouldn't be that strained. So how do you guys know the, in the pharmacy world which is the one most likely to be needed? Right, right. That's a great question. So there are over uh, uh, 400 laboratories set up all around the world that are constantly collecting samples 365 days a year from people who have um, cold-like uh, symptoms. And... Um, so these labs will collect these samples and they'll say, is it from influenza? And if it is, what is the strain? And every February, the World Health Organization meets and then soon thereafter the FDA meets and the CDC meets to see what are the flu strains that are causing disease in other parts of the world up until that time. Oh, and okay. They'll, they'll, and then they'll select and say, these are the strains that are causing disease. We have what we'll call the A strains and the B strains. And then they uh, give those instructions to the manufacturers to, to make the vaccine for the upcoming season. Now, this year, uh, actually for the last three years, we've had vaccines that have protect against four strains of influenza. At GSK, where I'm a vaccine researcher, all of our influenza vaccines are these so-called four-strain vaccines that could provide the broadest protection. And this year, uh, the CDC is following extremely closely what type of influenza is causing uh, illness in other parts of the world to predict what's going to happen this year. And everything is pointing that the strains that were selected this past February for this year's vaccine are the right strains. We call them a match. The match looks good, but the vaccine has the right stuff in it for what's circulating. And that's really important for confidence and also yeah, for really. influenza is, can be so serious, particularly for very young children. You know, I want to let your listeners know that uh, last year there were 147 children who died from influenza. Oh, my goodness. This is, this is vaccine preventable. And so not only do we want to get ourselves as adults, as parents, as grandparents uh, vaccinated to protect ourselves, we also want to protect the vulnerable around us. Yeah, right. And so we want to we want to make sure that our children are vaccinated. The CDC recommends that everybody six months of age and older be vaccinated. So we want to protect ourselves, and we want to also have less of an opportunity to spread something to vulnerable people uh, in our society, and that includes also the elderly. Yeah, let me ask sure. you about them, if if you don't mind. Well, I, I mentioned in the intro that Robert and I play music, and we're going to do that today, as a matter of fact, yeah. at, a, at an assisted living facility. If I got the vaccine today, could I possibly give the flu to somebody else even though I'm protected? Okay, so the vaccines take about two weeks to to really start to work. Okay. So uh, within that two-week period, if you were to come down with influenza because you're not yet 
protected from your own vaccination, you could be spreading it. Okay. Also, the, the vaccines themselves, no vaccine is 100% protective. The flu vaccines, so when there's a good match, are about 70% protective, something on that order. Um, the important thing is, though, that even if somebody gets influenza who's been vaccinated, they tend to get it in a less severe way. And so what we need to do is get the, get the, the more people vaccinated, the, the less likely there is for influenza to be spreading. And so that's why it's so important. Um, you know, we, we don't want to have people, particularly our elderly who are uh, in assisted uh, living facilities, you know, they're vulnerable and we don't want them to be exposed to something that could cause um, harm to them, especially the young infants as well. And so we're really concerned about this and we're also concerned about whooping cough, which I know you want to talk about. Right, right. And, and is that also a problem for children? Absolutely. So whooping cough is caused by a bacteria, a very, very, very contagious bacteria. The whooping cough produces a a prolonged coughing illness, can last for months, and and people will have these these, uh, uh, episodes of of, of very forceful coughing. Oh, wow. uh, At the end of the cough, they um, can't, they're they're hungry for air, and they'll take a deep breath, and it sounds like this. Yeah, I think I've heard that. Oh, okay, that's the whoop, okay. Yeah, like and smokers. When that, <laughs> when that happens, you know, it's very difficult to sleep and it's difficult to eat uh, if you're constantly coughing and, and, and free for air. And this can go on for months, which can be really a problem for people in school who are working. But what's also a problem is that it's very contagious, especially in the first two weeks of the illness, when people don't even realize that they have whooping cough. They just think they have a cold. Well, should these vaccines be given like during the summertime so that your body's prepared for it in the winter? Whooping cough can occur all year long. Um, Now, this time of year, when people are going in to get their flu vaccines, it's a good time to ask about your your whooping cough vaccines as well because whooping cough and flu vaccines can be given at the same time, at the same visit. But we know that many people are not aware of the dangers of whooping cough, particularly the dangers that are for very young babies young babies who are too young to get vaccinated, if they get whooping cough, one in two under a year of age will be hospitalized from whooping cough because they can stop breathing. And sadly, one in a hundred of hospitalized babies with whooping cough will die from whooping cough. And Mm. we know that people are not aware of this. And and when they become aware, they say, okay, I should get myself vaccinated because I don't want to be spreading this. And this is will recommend that all adults get vaccinated against whooping cough. You've given us a lot of good information in a very short period of time, but I'm guessing our listeners have more questions. So could you leave us with a website? We've got about 20 seconds. Absolutely. Vaccinateyourfamily.org. Okay, vaccinateyourfamily.org. Got it, vaccinateyourfamily.org. Dr. Leonard uh, Freeland, thank you so much for being on the air with us, and definitely come back again. Thank you. Okay, we will be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Friday will be mostly cloudy with a couple of showers around through the morning and early afternoon hours. Breezy and turning temperatures in the upper 60 to 70s around the area. Clearing tonight and turning colder. Lows ranging from the upper 30s and low 40s well inland to the mid 50s along the coast. For tomorrow, mostly sunny and breezy skies ranging from the mid 60s to the lower 70s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pest Control, you probably are. Turner Pest Control offers the industry's only termite and pest control package that never charges retreat fees, ever. You can get started today for only $99. This is a value of $500 or more. This includes treatments, installation of monitoring stations, quarterly pest control, and a lifetime guarantee, all for an unbelievable low $99. Even if you have another pest control provider, visit turnerpest.com to find out how you can avoid paying those high termite retreat fees. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. 
Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223. And pick up your copy of the Seniors Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. To career source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. When I started thinking about this year's Christmas greeting, I wanted to make it something meaningful. So here is my heartfelt wish for us all good health, prosperity, and the peace to be happy, whatever our circumstances. Remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. The most trusted name in news, Fox News, every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. Hi, this is Doug Smith for WOCA 1370. Have a happy and safe Christmas and buckle up and drive safely. Please don't drive or drinking. Hi, this is Larry. I'm just going to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Where am I going to hide the presents so my family can't see what I got them for Christmas? Hey, I know, Neighborhood Storage has units for only $20 till the end of the year. Yep, Elf Storage. With 20 locations, Neighborhood Storage is easy to find and use and only $20. Elf Storage. (coughs) I mean, Neighborhood Storage. So when you rent the unit before the end of the year and mention WOCA, get a free (laughs) t-shirt. Neighborhood Storage. Ah. New customers and additional units only. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!